Number 28, in Taekwondo, a hand is slammed down onto a target at a speed of 13 meters per second and comes to a stop during the 5 millisecond collision. Assume that during the impact, the hand is dependent of the arm and has a mass of 0.7 kilograms. What are the magnitudes of the impulse and the average force on the hand from the target? So let us draw here what's happening. So let's say that this is the hand of the, the guy that, that practices Taekwondo. And that's the target, the head of someone else. So initially we know that the hand have a speed of 13 meters per second. And uh, the collision lasts for 5 milliseconds. So it is 5 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds because it's milliseconds so it's 10 to the minus 3 uh, seconds we also know that the hand hits the face of the target and the hand stops right uh, the hand stops during the collision so the final speed of the hand is equal to zero meters per second the last thing that we know is that the mass of the hand is equal to 0 0.7 kilograms so let's see what we have to answer here. So what are the magnitudes of the impulse and the average force on the hand from the target? So we have to analyze the movement of the hand, right? So we have to calculate first the impulse. So the impulse, we can calculate it by using two different equations. We can calculate it by using the change in the momentum, but we can also calculate it using the average force times the time it took to the time that the, the force is applied so we have those two equations to work with so for the first question the magnitude of the impulse we're going to use this the first one over here so for letter a we're going to use that the impulse is equal to the change in the momentum which is equal to mass times the change in the velocity we can write this as mass times the final velocity minus the initial one okay so we have the mass right we have the initial velocity and the final velocity and that's pretty much it we just have to replace the letters by the numbers so j is equal to m times vf minus vi so this is equal to 0 0.7 the final speed is 0 the initial one is 13 so this is equal to let's see this is equal to minus 9.1 newton second but we want the magnitude so just take the positive value of this number over here so just take the the, the, the positive so just take 9.19 newton second and that's the answer because we want the magnitude so for letter b we want the average force so the average force is this one over here so of course we're going to use this equation so j is equal to the average force times delta t and we want the average force so that would be equal to the impulse divided by delta t remember that we want the magnitude so let's forget this minus sign over here so it will be 9.1 divided by 5 times 10 to the minus 3 and this would be equal to roughly 1.8 times 10 to the third newtons and that's the answer of letter b